Everybody walked up, done the heat pump. You look for three indicators in the heat pump, right? Yeah. Okay, what three indicators are going to point us to the the problem we have? Uh, low capacity, high suction pressure, and low head pressure. That's right. So we've got low capacity, mm -hmm. high suction pressure, low head pressure. All right. In heat pump mode, only three components can cause that problem. What are they? Uh, compressor, reversing valve, and device. Okay, compressor, reversing valve, and metering device. We do them in that order, right? Yeah. Eliminate the compressor first, then we do the reversing valve, then we do the metering device, the only thing left. Yeah. Now this unit here, we have a TXV, right? Mm -hmm. TXV makes our world a lot easier. Yeah. All right, so we've got low capacity, high suction, low head. What can you tell by looking at this chart right here? Um, I can tell that the the uh, metering device is functioning okay. right, and um, we got too much of a delta T drop across our reverse valve. Well, because we had Super Eater 7 with a TXV, that automatically tells us our metering device operating properly, right? Right. So we just eliminated the metering device. So we got Super Eater, which means we have vapor and reversing valve, so we can trust these numbers here. And how much of a delta T we have across our reversing valve? Uh, we have 18 degrees. Okay, we got an 18 degree delta across our reversal valve. What's the normal range for reversal valve? Uh, anywhere from two to nine degrees. Four to nine, two to nine, anything above two and up to nine. Up to nine's fine. Right. So right here with the compressor, we don't even worry about the compressor because the meter device is good. We got superheat, we got vapor, and we got an 18 degree delta across our reversal valve. Right. So at this point, what is our problem? Reversing valve bad. Reversing valve is bad. Pretty simple, huh? Pretty easy. Any questions? Nope. Good deal. <laughs> All right.